hey guys welcome back to the channel in this video i'm going to show you how to make this glass texture effect this is another photoshop tutorial so that's what we're going to do this is creative society all right so in photoshop we're going to create a new file 1080 by 1080 social media post we're going to name this glass effect tutorial after that we're going to open a file we're going to open a photo i like this one i got this from unsplash I'm going to add it to the project, resize it so that it fits. So I'm actually going to crop this to a square photo. I'm going to convert this to a smart object, rename this model. I'm going to remove the background layer. After that, I'm going to draw a rectangle to actually mark the area where the glass effect is going to be applied. So I'm going to use command T to resize that. And now I'm going to create a copy of the model layer. And then while holding the option key or alt on windows, I'm going to click in between the rectangle and the model copy. Now that the arrow is showing, it means that the layers are linked and it's time to apply the effect to the model copy. First, we want to go to filter blur Gaussian blur. We just choose the amount so that the details are going to be lost pretty much, but we don't want to add too much. I think 20 is pretty good for this one. Next, we'll go to filter and choose camera raw filter. Here under the effects channel, I'm going to turn the clarity all the way to minus 100. Click OK. And now it's time for the glass texture. For that, we we'll have to go to filter and filter gallery. In the filter gallery tab, we're going to have to go to distort and glass. And here we're going to press this button to load the texture, but we don't have that texture created. So we're going to have to cancel. And I will show you how to make that texture from scratch we're going to open a new document size is going to be 600 by 600 i'm just going to name this glass texture and here we want to add a new gradient as an adjustment layer we're going to have to select the black and white gradient the angle is going to be zero degrees and all the other settings should look like this click on ok and then we have to rasterize this layer and we're going to have to resize it to something like this then create a copy of that layer and put it right next to it and then make a copy of of two layers put them right next to them and then four layers so you got the idea select all the layers and just make sure that they fit within the rectangle boom we resize them and then we're going to save this as a psd file we're going to name this glass texture back to our project again we'll go to filter filter gallery under the stored we have glass click on this button load texture and then select the texture we just created open it up and we can start messing with the other settings i'm going to put the distortion all the way to the max smoothness around 40 and for the scaling i'm going to choose the minimal value i want the glass lines to be very thin click on ok and there we go we have the effect as you can see we can resize this and the effect is going to be applied basically to the area with the rectangle if we zoom in there is only one problem now the fact that the line between the glass and the original image is very very sharp to make that less sharp we're going to select the rectangle go to filter and add some blur to this one as well now choose a value that's just going to make the line not so obvious two one something like that somewhere in between and there we have it i'm just going to add the usual grain something that i like to add to a lot of designs and the good part is that we can make changes to the photo as well so if we double click on the model layer we just add another photo and as you guys can see we can save the settings and there's going to be another photo in the project for this photo i kind of want to add glass both to the left and to the right so what do i do for that i just make the rectangle a smart object and then within that smart object i'll just copy the rectangle and put it on the other side as well so yeah i like how this looks i'm pretty happy with the result there you have it guys another way to add some style to your designs if you like this video don't forget a thumbs up subscribe all that good stuff and if you got questions you can ask them in the comments below or you can actually reach out to me privately and once again thank you guys for watching hope you're gonna have a great day